Now let's see what is the long run equilibrium of the industry in the perfect competition. We've already done this. Let's do this in detail now. In the first graph we have the industry price determination and in the second graph we have long run equilibrium for the firm. We can see that we have the demand curve and the supply curve in the first graph and thus we have the price which is set by the industry. This price has to be accepted by the firm. So it becomes the price curve, the demand curve, the average revenue curve and the marginal revenue curve for the firm. Now our first condition is marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. <clears throat> you can see that the short run marginal cost as well as the long run marginal cost both are cutting the marginal revenue curve at the same point. This point is named as T. You can see that both are cutting the marginal revenue curve at the same point. So we get our equilibrium quantity as T is the point of equilibrium. So the equilibrium quantity is OM. At OM, you can see that the short run average cost curve and long run average cost curve again are tangent with the demand curve or the AR curve. So our costs are also equal to average revenue. Thus we have a situation of no profits and no losses. That is the normal profit situation. Now a situation of breaking even that is no profit no loss situation in economics is called as a normal profit situation in accounts. Students generally get confused in this. In accounts if you are earning normal profits you would be earning no profits or incurring no losses in economics. So when, when I say normal profit it refers to the profits of accounts. So in the long run we see that all the firms can only earn normal profit. All the firms will have AC equal to AR. So under the long term or long run you can see that the firms will not exit or enter the market. The firm is now operating on an autopilot situation. There will be no firms which would want to enter or there will be no firms which would want to exit because the existing firms in the market are incurring normal profits only. So the firms which are in earning normal profit would not like to exit and set up a new business somewhere else. Again the firms which are earning normal profit somewhere else will not want to enter this market and set up their new business. So none of the firms will exit or enter the market. You will also have a situation where average revenue, average revenue is equal to long run average cost curve is equal to long run marginal cost curve is equal to the point T. All these four meet at the same point. You can see at point T, AR is equal to long run average cost curve LAC is equal to long run marginal cost curve LMC. At point T, there is AR that is the horizontal curve. Then you have the long run average cost curve, the U shaped curve and then you have the long run marginal cost curve. This is, it is this curve. So all of them are meeting at this point and the optimum output and cost is achieved. This is my optimum output and this is my optimum 
cost now how does this point give me optimum cost because you can see that lac lac that is the long run average cost curve is minimum is minimum at the point t you can see that it starts from this point and ends at this point so when it starts from this point it is moving downwards and when it uh, when it is at point t it is minimum and from point t it starts to move upwards again so it is least at point t thus you can say that you have achieved the optimum cost so in short you can say that you have optimum number of firms you have optimum output at minimum cost and then <coughs> sorry consumers also pay a minimum price they pay a minimum price because this is the price which is set by the market consumers themselves have set this price producers themselves have set this price they would not be required to pay more why because the price is set by the forces of demand and supply demand is from consumer side supply is from producer side so where demand and supply meet the equilibrium price is achieved and this is the minimum price they would be required to pay if they want to purchase the products now if they want to pay a lower price suddenly it will throw a situation of losses for the firm because the firms are earning normal profits now so if you lower the price the firms would incur losses and what will happen is they'll exit suddenly what will happen the supply in the market will reduce again pushing the price upwards so you will see again the price has moved upward so the second case wherein they want to pay a higher price ideally no consumer would want to pay a higher price but in case if they are paying a higher price what will this do this will give the situation of super normal profits for the sellers and since the sellers are earning super normal profits other firms will get attracted and enter the markets leading to higher supply and if the supply increases you will see that other firms are getting attracted supply has increased as a result the price will come down because you have a higher supply so the price again will come down and again will come at its original equilibrium position so whatever you do you'll be at the equilibrium in the long run and this would be the minimum price that the consumers pay when mc equals to ac we can see that my marginal cost curve is equal to my average cost curve lmc is equal to ac here smc is equal to sac here so what is happening is the plant is operating at the full capacity now the plant cannot produce more than this this is the highest that the plant can produce and when you are producing this much you can say that the plant is operating at the maximum possible capacity or the full capacity or highest capacity the firm earns a maximum profit where mc equals to mr we've already seen this mc equals to mr gives the equilibrium situation if you try to move beyond this point you will incur losses if you produce and sell less than this point you will have a situation wherein there is a loss of revenue that you are incurring because you are selling lesser number of product so the optimum profits that the seller will get will come at a situation of mc equals to mr 